Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4 as Croatia! We are probably a few days past the end of the last episode, because I started recording this episode, and then about a minute into it, I got a phone call to, to, to stop here. But hey, we're playing as Croatia, we've been expansioning pretty well. Again, we're not, you know... We're, we're not going overboard and like world conquest kind of things. I, I mean, we could push a lot more. We might even start one while we're still a bit overextended over here because that's going to get wrapped up. I mean, you know, I don't want to do anything that's going to be too, too frustrating to manage, right? If we're constantly doing rebellions while fighting half the world, that to me is not going to be fun. But growing a little bit bigger, a little bit more aggressively is always fun, right? Yeah, maybe. The other thing we could do is we can consider not stating everything and actually making use of concentrate development. We may end up doing a little bit of something like that. We'll see. Lazia Umbria has 70 development in it. Which one is that one? It's not the Isles. It's over here. Oh, it's Rome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, what's interesting about this is it's not in our primary trade node at all and could be a candidate for something like that. Uh, we have an unassigned merchant. Did we just get a new one? Did someone get unassigned? Maybe someone got kicked out of a node somewhere. That's possible. Let's see. Uh, we don't have one in Venice, which is correct. We do have one in Ragusa over here. I think that's, yeah, that's our little symbol for that. We've got one in Constantinople. We don't have one in Crimea, which might be the thing to do. Actually, yeah, there's a lot of trade that is going not to us over here. So I think we do want a merchant over in the Crimean trade node. All right. Okay. Um, this army is literally not doing anything. It's not on Rebel Stop. It's not on Drill. Okay, well, let's consider. Am I am I thinking that I do want to start a war? Well, I think I was saying that we'd probably go north over here. Partially to, like, cycle truces. Um, it would also be a good way to embiggen our name if we do that. And, of course, at some point we'll have to take care of the Ottoman Balkans over here. But I am incredibly tickled by doing this to like the AI whenever I get a chance because it just makes everything harder. I mean, imagine this was our land like this. How much would we hate it? And I know the AI doesn't have actual feelings, but it, it is going to like stump their little electronic brain to try to deal with bullshit like that, uh, which is why we do it. Okay, out of curiosity, if we were to declare war on Styria, just to say, um, so the Palatinate would call in all their own allies. And that would be quite a few things over there, although we'd have the numbers, even more so if we brought in France. So I think that's possible. The case is guaranteed by Bohemia. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing we could do is what would happen if we declared just on Bohemia directly? Well, that might be better. The Platinate is still going to look to come in, but they're not going to come in with as many things simultaneously. I do want Styria just because of name in beginning stuff. But on the other hand, we could follow up with a war with Styria. That might not be terrible. What's our aggressive expansion like? I think it's actually fairly decent, right? Everyone's... Yeah. I mean, if we do take some lands in Germany, it is going to generate a lot over here, but I think it's very manageable. Do I just want to move into this now? I mean, we're basically full there. Um, I know we are ahead of time, but we'll probably want to pop this. You know what? I think we will plan on doing this. So let's move our armies to this front. Which armies aren't moving? You're in the Scottish Guards. You're going to be fine. Okay, I'm going to turn off the drill, just to say, and then leave you there. Maybe I could... I'll just put you on uh, Rebel Suppression, just so that you have an icon to remind me of what you're up to. Just like here, you've got some troops. You're doing some Rebel busting in this area. That's fine. Oh, we're still moving some troops home, so we're not going to start immediately. I forgot that and not everyone had moved out of our, uh, our North Africa campaign. So we'll wait for them to get there. I think we were building some more transports as well, because of that time my math was was off. I know, it's only one time ever that I've made a mistake in math, so it must be shocking to absolutely everyone. Uh, but, you know, just I just threw it in there to make you guys feel better about yourselves. I was like, yeah, we'll make some intentional math mistakes. Haha, <laughs> brilliant. Okay, we are about to cap out. Yeah, and that's, that's not going to change. We could burn some points on something else, but you know what? I think we are going to go and do this. Um, the ship upgrades aren't quite as critical the same way. I guess it's naval combat with... Look at the size of the icon. Or maybe it's just that this icon is so tiny. No, they're just really inconsistent. It, I mean, I guess that's the relative size of the ships, maybe? I don't know. Ooh, this also unlocks the um, stock exchange, which we would very much like to build in a few places. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go. It's fine. 
Done, done, donezo. I think we have new units over here. Okay, cavalry does most of its damage still in the shock phase. So if we can get more shock pips, that would be the ideal. So it looks like this is over here. This is a total of seven shock pips. This is a total of nine. This does have more morale, but no. We'll go with the wing two stars, plus it's a cool name, and then we'll grab our new mortars over here. Gorgeous. Okay. Nice that there's no actual attrition in these places. Obviously, we want to get the morale to go up there, but that's going to come soon. In fact, I think it'll line up pretty well with our ships being, our, our units having landed from the, the ships for the start of the war. Okay, so you're still good there. I don't think we need to build anything else. How are we force limit wise? I guess I was on the right tab. Um, okay, well, first of all, we can build more ships. We're basically at our limit when it comes to manpower. Now, of course, some of our units are away, right? Because of sneak zing. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, in uh, North Africa and in Scotland. So we can't actually bring our entire forces to bear here. But we're going to be okay. So yeah, we'll just bring in the last 2k over here just to say. Oh yeah, clearly getting those extra transports are going to be good. We're, getting, we're building up transports that we can bring our standard army composition two trips instead of like this two and then one more little itty bitty baby trip. That makes everything annoying. All right, groovy. And you're going to auto-merge. These ships are just sitting around. We do have some upgrades. Um, let's go with this now. That's going to be fine. We're not going to need those ships in the war. Okay, so if we declare war on Bohemia, Platinum Teutonic Order Ansbach. It looks like the thing to do is to swarm through Bohemia first. Platinum over there. I mean, they'll come in through here, but we got our forts up, so that should be okay. No rebellions about to hit, which is good. You know what? Maybe I don't even need the Scottish troops. I think things are really stable over here. Now, they may only be stable because they recently had an uprising. Mm, not really. No. In fact, if it wasn't for the Ottomans' discontentment that they keep doing with the spies, and then the overextension, this would be, like, insanely... Um, stable, because it's at minus 7.2 right now, with the 5 points from the troops. So no, this is actually, and they still have separatism as well. So no, Scotland's actually really stable. But, I, uh, especially with these ships being upgraded here, I don't think we're going to pull those troops out right now. Plus, it would take 2 trips, which would still be annoying. So, we do that. Yeah, we're moving you up to the front, and then that'll probably be our go time. These 3 stacks over here. I mean, they're going to be really good stacks. Good composition. Not a massive amount of drill. But, and, but we do have great generals. Uh, Provence, cancel military access, that's fine. How's your political situation? Yeah, marriages everywhere, that's good, that's good, that's good. And I think Denmark's integration, if we're going to do that, which I'm not even sure yet, is going to be in the 80s. So we will see about that, but maybe? Maybe. I'm wondering, I just want to feed them more stuff before we do that. Oh, I forgot they are... They are Protestants. We don't get to use the super awesome CV. But that's why we do have some claims on them, which is going to be alright. So, we did get warned that uh, some of our navies are out of port, which is okay. That's just our trade stuff. We're not worried about any of them. Um, do I call in France? Is there any reason not to call in France? I think the answer is no. So, we'll go ahead and do this. Who's got the best siege pip? So, you've got a two. You've got a two. You've got a four. We'll send you there, we'll send you there, and then you just stand between the two of them to guard. Although, really, we could, this is a big enough stack, we could send you somewhere, but, oh, hello, Instaboo. <laughs> Take that. Alright, Salzburg is, oh, are they Conentieri? Oh, no, it's the Styrian. Oh, Styrian did get pulled in. Oh, that's good. Okay. Sorry, I was getting confused as to uh, what is messing over. This is the Salzburg army over here that's just sitting around. Done, done, done. So we can actually send you over here. It's only level 2 fort. This is going to go very well. Very well, very quickly. Oh, that's not even their capital. But I bet you their capital is not even a real fort, and it is indeed not even a real fort. France is moving in through here. Yeah, this is going to be a very short war. 
We're gonna be home by Christmas. Okay, well, Christmas is in a couple of days, so maybe not. General. Oh no. He's killed by losing the troops during an exercise. Well, he was killed leading his troops during a siege, in fact. That was our level four siege, dude. Oh, I was so excited. Oh well. Alright, let me move over there. Yeah, because that, that siege percentage just went down. Ethiopia declares war on someone. Okay, but they don't call me in. I don't feel like they need me. Good. That's fine. I would have had to say yes. Well, I wouldn't have had to, but I would have wanted to. Ethiopia, I think, is going to be a very, very useful ally here. What's this? He's from Mulhouse. Okay. Hang on. Here, Regensburg. Yeah, a bunch of things did get called in here. We're going to work out some individual pieces soon. Uh, declared war on Yessica. Siege of Praha is done. So let's go here. Oh, that's a lot of forts in this section. Well, I guess... Okay, only these two I have to worry about. Sorry, the colors sort of blurred in a little bit for me over here. So I thought it all belonged to the same, the same group, the same nation. Fours are finished. Good, because we're about to grab some more. Tiny battle. The siege not succeeding, which is annoying because I want to give them a new general. But I can't do... I guess I could have just peeled off one dude, gone to friendly territory, assigned a general, and done that, but... Oh well. Um, rebels and things. Looks like we need to go here. Yep. I go to the fort map mode. Okay, that can be kind of useful to figure out what to siege. Regensburg. Well, actually, I guess I could... I could separate piece you out now. Um, but what do we want to do? We actually might want to... Oops. We might want to do religious conversions. And the reason is, I think we're... I wonder if there's somewhere we can tell. Yeah, we need 20 nations to follow. So if we convert over Regensburg... Then that'll bring us to 20, which will give us various buffs, which is nice. We'll do war reps. And all your money. Um, do I want to do pillaging? More aggressive expansion, but maybe. Sure. Huh. I don't think there's any relationships we have to break. I could just eat them up, but they're not going to be adjacent to anything, so no. We'll just do... Oh, well, that was the other thing, right? If I ever think I'm going to take this land, it's better to not pillage, because we're actually losing raw development. Plus, this generates more aggressive expansion that it could be using to just take land. You know, let's not do the pillage here, since it is something I'm planning to take. We'll force religion and take their money. And there we go. That brings us up to a total of 20. So we're tier 4 now. We get some slightly better benefits. We need 50 for the next, which isn't going to happen. So I wasn't doing a lot of the religious conversion, because of course it is convenient to, um, to have that great religious CB, right? Uh, let's roll another one. You. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Scottish Guard, you're gonna grab that guy, which means that you can take this one over here that's got siege pips and stuff. Excellent. All right. Uh, oh, tonic orders over here. Let's send you that way then. Everyone else is busy. Yep, everyone's got an action. Love to see all those little symbols. I mean, these two are just rebel busting in a place that doesn't really have rebels, but I intentionally set them in that mode or at least the Scottish one, so that I would be able to see what they're up to. Okay, Styria. Maybe? Vassalize? Put, one, put us one over our limit. But that's fine. We'll get a little bit less uh, aggressive expansion by doing that, and we can swallow them up later on. That's fairly tempting, I think. Okay, battle are happening. Excellent. You are just sitting around doing nothing. Uh, so it looks like you have to go and siege that province. One siege of Weimar. So same thing. Grab you. Look for forts to siege out. Everyone's still busy? Good. Yeah, peace offers from various people, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna say no. I don't want the Ottomans and things traipsing through my territory right now. Same thing over here. Yeah, 
We'll do some more individual pieces with people. Probably all we're gonna do is take their money, and that'll be that. Everyone wants peace. Also, everyone wants access rights, but no. I mean, I guess it would be good to have them fight each other, but they would be walking through my territory, and I just predict we're gonna have, like, annoying issues with, um, supply. They can do naval bullshit. They don't have to walk through me. They've got ways. Alright, you're gonna go there. We're gonna help France siege that out. Uh, that's Provence, actually. But I think they're, uh, vassal France. Um... Yeah, no, I don't care about my merchants pissing off people. Okay, we want a siege, done that, get a text message. Probably ignore it because, ugh, hate phone stuff. Uh, occupied by Bohemia, so we'll go de-occupy Denmark. It's like the uh, opposite of uh, Occupy Wall Street. De-occupy Walmart. Uh, Walmart. <laughs> Denmark. Walmart. It's a, it's a country founded by a giant superstore company, Walmart. So this is probably our min technology, which does unlock an idea group, which is good, but we're about to spend a bunch on coring almost certainly. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep the focus on military just because it is the thing that we generate the fewest points on, although I was thinking mm, maybe, especially if I'm going humanist ideas, which is fairly likely. I think I still really like that idea. Um, is there a combo with humanist and religious? With quantity, we get leader shock. Quality, meh, defensive, reduced attrition is nice. Trade ideas, cheaper idea cost, institution spread. It's a little late for the idea cost to really kick in. I think I still like this for world conquesty kind of things, though. So that's probably what's going to happen. In which case, we probably should, despite the fact that it's going to tank our military, but while you're ahead in military tech, I'm going to put the focus on admin. Now, we're still not going to take the admin technology quite yet, because we're not capped. And we're going to be doing a bunch of coring here. Um, and in fact, yeah, so this is going to be really good for us to put the... Um, where's this going? Um, for us to put the focus on admin, because we are going to be tanking a lot of admin points here shortly. Uh, right, those are two extra transports. So you actually need this fleet, please. What I should really do as well with my trade fleet is... Oh, you're fully up to date! Well, never mind then, my bad. Uh, I think you're still patrolling the Regrusen trade node, please. We're on the Siege of Heidelberg. Are there more forts for us to do? At a glance, it looks like no. Oh, right over here, my bad. Oh, because it's being held by zealots. I mean, they're Protestant zealots. I kind of want them to be there, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, we want to siege this back for ourselves, please. Okay, you over here. We're going to go... Uh, no, I didn't mean to refill garrison, but I guess that's going to be fine. Thomas carpet sieging is, in fact, what I want to enable with you. And we'll do a little bit more. And yeah, we can start with Styria just to make sure we get a good peace deal with them. Medium, they're not low. Well, if they're not completely desperate yet, then we're gonna we're gonna wait. Um, France is besieging some stuff over there, so we're just gonna go and set that kind of command, please. Well, they're not low, but we can still go for them. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna start doing this. We're gonna do war reps. Take all your money. We don't need to steer trade or anything like that. Oh, they're not even willing to do it. Okay, we may as well do that. I mean, some of our war score might go down, but barely so. Uh, Ansbach, negotiating for themselves. War reps, take all your money. It's not much, but we'll take it. Who else is in on this? Um, okay, Teutonic Order, I don't want anything from you right now. So we can just take the war reps. And that, and that's fine. Well, small house is tiny. 
Whoops. Take all your money. Send. You have absolutely nothing going on. Oh, cheaper infantry. Cool. One more carpet sieging instructions. Keep these guys busy. You can probably pass out to Frankfurt. And actually sieged Frankfurt. Okay. Kosovo gold mines in Kosovo have been partially depleted. Okay, that happens with the gold mines. Growth. Okay. Whoa! Slow down with the pop-ups. Korea internal trend occupied. Okay. What's going on? Ford quarter of Ragusa. This makes the papal state happy, gives us a discount to development, and increases goods production, or pisses them off and gives us trade power. We'll go with trade power. Uh, growth administration plus one diplo reps for 10 years. Well, if we're going to vassalize someone, that actually will be pretty handy. Global trade power for 10%. Autonomy. Um, so, no, we're going to go with trade power. So, technically speaking, if when we do vassalize these guys, what's going to happen is they're going to be... Let me actually focus on this. Um, we're going to be spending an extra diplo power per month on the relationship slot, but that's okay. We're really far ahead on t uh, time on diplomacy, and um, we can just spend the extra money we get from on a better advisor, and it all balances out. So I'm not worried. Boom, boom. Come over here, please. We'll put you back on auto afterwards. Okay. Fully pick up uh, Styria, and we'll see what we can do. We may have to wait for some of the length of war modifiers to go away. Ottomans are claiming some of my stuff. I thought they had religious ideas. I don't even know if they need to claim my stuff. Yeah, trade. We do have a lot of money. We should probably do some trade company investments. Go, go. I'll figure it out after the war, I think. I don't suppose... Are you willing to be vassalized now? No. How close are we? Pretty damn close. All right. But yeah, we'll get a little less aggressive expansion by doing that. These guys doing things over there isn't a problem. It'll be a little less, but it'll still be plenty. I was talking about, you know, grabbing stuff to core, but... We actually might be slightly limited. Although, we're going to have lots of truces. Not on everyone, though, because we're not at war with everyone. Like, um, Munich over here. We're not at war with them, and they might get a little... A little cranky pants. But I think we can deal with a pretty large coalition. Again, if nothing, we do have very, very, very good allies, which is nice. All right, everyone's busy. Good, good, good. Map sharing. Random little battles for more overall war score. Sure, why not? I mean, mostly with stereo, we're waiting for the uh, the length of war timer to go away. Apparently, they still feel like they have a decent military strength. I find that a little bit hard to believe, but sure. Okay, there's the busy. Oh, did we get one more? I think I only needed two, but I think I might have built uh, an extra one or two. Okay, that's good, that's good. Um, an extra one or two just to give us some uh, some padding. So you're carpet siege. Okay, you're still carpet siege. You know, in case we lose one in the battle, then we still have the right amount of ships to move things. So plenty of occupations going over here, but that's fine. Um, we'll upgrade. We've got three ships to do there. I could grab this fleet and pull my troops out of Scotland. Although, I would like to maybe war more over here. This might be a good place to do a bunch of concentrated development. Because I don't think we really care about this land and just, you know, strip mining it is going to be kind of sort of hilarious. Mm -hmm. Alright, how you doing? Not yet. Do I want to separate piece out some more of these miners? So I can't do the Platinet, I don't think. I don't remember. Um, I mean, Frankfurt, I don't really need, right? I don't think I need anything out of Frankfurt. Oh, right, they weren't willing to take anything. Okay, but now they are, because we did that. Done. And 
Thuringia. War reps, take your money. And again, sometime in the future, we might be interested in, uh, in taking your stuff, so we're going to do that. So, okay, the Palatinate, which apparently still have high enthusiasm. Uh, I don't have a diplomat. I think if I negotiate with you, did, I don't know if they took over the war or not. Yeah, it's only for themselves. Okay. Well, that is interesting. Revoke Imperial Reform. I don't think I care about them. I don't think they're... Oh, that's the Imperial. Um, they don't really have much in the way of reforms. They have some, but yeah, their Imperial Authority is zero. They're not moving anywhere. So I really don't care about that. Just negotiating for themselves. I mean, there's no vassalization because it's too expensive. Um, we could consider, like, forcing to release some stuff with the idea that then they might be small enough to eat up later on as a vassal, but I don't think I care about that. So we're just going to do that, negotiating for themselves. Okay. We'll send the mans. Great. Now, Styria, you still feeling annoying? Apparently so. Alright. And yeah, these guys are set to carpet siege, but don't actually have anything to carpet siege. Because that's all done. Uh, what we could do is pull back and clean this up, but it's not like we're really concerned. So, I'm just going to start pulling you back here and there. One of, them, one of the armies is still moving to do something. Oh, no. Now you're parked. And I'll move you over here. Places with extra supply. Supply to spare. January the 1st. You're still being a punk. Very soon. Competent cousin. Oh. Alright. Free legitimacy. We weren't capped on legitimacy, so that is actually nice. High legitimacy gives us more... Diplomatic reputation. There it is. High diplo rep is very good for burning away all kinds of nastiness. We're still running the improved relations advisor over here. Which I think is quite nice. And yeah, we have the negative uh, national arrest person as well, which is very helpful. How are you feeling there, Styria? Nope, not yet. It's very soon. And they're reformed. We'll probably force a conversion, like, right away, which I think we can do with our vassal. Obviously, it'll make them very cranky, but with the truce timers and stuff, I don't think anyone will be able to support their, support their independence. There we go. So they'll become a vassal. I mean, I could even ask for some money just to put keep them in more dire straits short term. I think I will do that. Done and done. Too many diplomatic reputations. That's fine. If we check over here with Styria. Oh, I can't uh, enforce religion? But you must be positive. Okay. We're going to place a relative on the th throne. Just because I think it'll make our life easier long term. Not a big deal either way, but I think it's going to be all right. Yeah, same dynasty plus 15. So that's very helpful. Obviously, they get pissed short-term. Uh, oh, yeah, it doesn't show up here. It's not an opinion modifier. It's a liberty modifier. But that's going to be fine. Uh, they are apparently willing to do a... Oh, no, they're not. That's okay. Yeah, because they're, they're, they're disloyal. But we should be able to make them loyal fairly quickly, I think. We'll improve some relations and see what we can do. Actually, because we can improve relations plus 200, uh, they will go positive relationship. Now, there's this loyal over here. Not by too much, actually, despite the place relative on the throne, which, of course, is going to burn away quite quickly. So, no, I'm very happy about that. We're going to be good and stable. Armies are just chilling around over here. So, I guess it's time for us to negotiate our peace with Bohemia. And for that, I'm pretty much looking at grabbing some border stuff. Now, we do have truces with a lot of these, but not all of them. Okay, and it would definitely put us in the ring. Well, what I should do is I should wait for as long as possible to peace out. And the reason is we can burn off a little bit of aggression, aggressive expansion while we wait. We can do that. I mean, we're... Basically, manpower cap. This is such an easy, easy war. We're going to want to go before we cap on admin. Although, we're not ahead of time on admin anymore. So, let's go ahead and unlock this. 
I think the idea is still, I think I still like the idea of grabbing these humanist ideas. Although innovativeness can be really fun and does lead to some interesting things. Okay, how many more institutions are there? Yeah, we're, uh... So enlightenment is next. 1700. State Parliament, University. I think the Enlightenment is also the one where if you have innovativeness, it spreads in your country faster. I think it might have to be complete, though. We don't have a university. We can build a few of those. Maybe we can get Enlightenment to pop where we are. Okay, well, I should put in a cut. Let me give it a little think. I still, okay, if we want to do a lot of conquest, I think Humanist is still really, really helpful for that. Um, I mean, institution embracement cost, technology cost, more spread. I mean, we'll definitely help to spread that more, but maybe we can live without this. Okay, what are the fort size, trade efficiency, lowered interest, Maintenance and defense. Infantry combat ability. I think that's one of the sexy things. If you go quality and innovative ideas, you can run modern firearm techniques for an infantry combat ability boost. And that is incredibly sexy. That, that might be the deciding factor. That might really be the deciding factor. I mean, you know, artillery is pretty good. But obviously we need to have a lot of, um, of infantry. And there's plenty of good stuff in here. I mean, there's still going to be plenty of text to grab. I'm going to click on Innovative Ideas. I'm not, I'm not necessarily going to spend any points in it quite yet. Until we have maybe done some coring over there. But I'm going to put a cut in here so I can give it a little bit of think. Because it can always cancel it and we lose nothing at this point. Um, we'll give it some consideration and see how we feel. We already have some infantry combat ability. We have good infantry. Whatever that, you know, means. I don't think that's going to affect our composition because lots of artillery is still good. But at least our, our infantry is going to be able to stand up and form a wall for a lot longer. And that's never a bad thing. Thanks for watching, folks. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.